Gotcha. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Back and Forth. I'm your host, Gecko Man, and sitting beside me is our co-host, Rogue Gambit, the man who was supposed to destroy the Sith, not join them. I am the Senate. I absolutely hated that. <laughs> what? Just because we're talking about the worst things, oh my goodness, our please. least favorite things doesn't mean we, uh, uh, you know, Smart. have to not talk about Star Wars. <laughs> All right, but yes, we are doing our the bot. We call the bottom five, but it's basically just our least favorite things in the Marvel and Star Wars universes. Mm-hmm. I have a list of things I want to talk about. Hopefully, you have a list of things you want to talk. I do about. have a list of things I want to talk about. I don't know if we need to go in a new order, but what 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 do you got? What do you want to talk about first? Well, let's go ahead and start with Star Wars first because Star Wars celebration just happened. So we'll go Star Wars. Um. So and we'll first uh, first Star Wars thing I want to talk about is my least favorite. Uh, what an hour and a half of all of Star Wars, and that would be Obi Wan Kenobi episodes one and two. Really, no, really, that's no, your least favorite. No. I mean, I was, no, there's a lot worse things. But, I was about to say, like, <laughs> but they were bad. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Anyways, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with you saying that. Because, <laughs> but, you don't want to know what I have finally decided to be the worst thing of Star Wars? Nope. Charge our banks. Rose. Rose is the worst thing. <laughs> Actually, Star Wars. you know what? That's a good point. Rose <laughs> is the worst thing. <laughs> Probably worse than Jar Jar. <laughs> Probably. Anyways, what? Um, but I decided to go with, unless something happens in season two that's coming out, Bad Batch. Oh, well, I won't disagree with that. Ooh, yeah, because I've tried to like them. I've tried to enjoy them. But it's like, they're just a group of guys that they just created to sell action figures. Yeah. Yeah. Like, we could have done done that so easily with already made characters, a.k.a. the Commandos. Right. Delta Squad. Definitely, I've always <laughs> wanted to watch Delta Squad do its thing. <laughs> um, but yeah, do you have like a specific thing you want to um, talk about? Mainly Wrecker. <laughs> I hate him so much. <laughs> um, as well as Tech and um, the only one in the group that I like is Echo. But that's just because he's Echo and I've seen him so much mm-hmm. before. Um, he's the one that I'm excluding from the group. It's the main four yep. guys. It's they're so annoying. Um, any other character? Let's let's talk about like Star Wars character. What are other Star Wars characters that you hate? That I hate. Well, we or um, like strongly. Well, I mean, we could, you know, Rose. Yes. <laughs> I don't know if I could necessarily say I hate this character. You know, maybe I do hate this character because I. You know what? I won't talk about this character because I don't know if I actually hate her. So, <laughs> okay. Um, what about you? Do you have anybody? Oh yes, I have loads. <laughs> Let's start off with um, where it all started in A New Hope. I love everybody in that movie. No, I was like, oh, I wait. just, I as I've said before, I think uh, Han Solo's overrated, but I'm not gonna say he's bad. Uh, you hate Han Solo? Yes. yes wow. I do. I know you've always said he's... <laughs> but overrated. no, let's go to prequels because there's a lot there. Let's see. I can, uh, I can be okay. Uh, Anakin. Oh, you don't like Anakin or do you, you don't like Hayden Christensen? Oh, I love Hayden Christensen. Okay. You, I you hate the writing and his character. Okay. I like the okay. arc he has. He has a good arc. Yeah. But his actual character and motivations just make no sense. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, um, I want to disagree with that, but I can't think of a reason to. He's terrible. Oh, yeah, he is. Uh, Padme Amidala, terrible. You don't like Padme Amidala? No. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Mainly it's the acting there on that one and the character and everything about her I dislike. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, I don't want to say I hate the Emperor, but I really don't like I don't no. like, like, I think it was a really bad backstory for the Emperor. I li- I think I like both characters, um, but I really don't feel like that character led into who the Emperor is in the originals at all. I mean, you know, you actually, you might be right. You might be right. Um, yeah. Then again, and also, you know, take this with a grain of salt since I have not seen these movies in probably 10 plus years, <laughs> but, um, it's just you know, what I remember feeling at the time. Yeah. And then moving into the newer stuff, let's see. Clone Wars. Let's see. Well, there's fives. Uh, excuse Shreks. me. <laughs> oh. uh, 
uh other clones now um i mean i don't think there's any characters i really hate that were like main characters in that no nobody like you you like ahsoka ahsoka's great <laughs> um maybe oh um, oh darth maul's brother what's his name the big yellow Samaj dude Opress. yeah hate that dude actually i hate him too if you had that uh, i do not like him and don't like what they did uh but yeah i don't think there's really anything there um the new movies i mean where do i start <laughs> literally everybody except like kylo ren i guess they did okay and uh ray i don't know I hate her like yeah that's who i was thinking about when i was saying i don't yeah. know if i really hate her i just don't like like they could have done so many much they could so have much, just more, done much oh, i forgot rogue one everybody in rogue one <laughs> uh, excuse me everybody except for uh what's his name arsenic what? Uh, what's his name? Arsenic? <laughs> Andor? Andor. Except for Andor, which I don't like the way they... You know, like yeah, I said before, I actually they don't did, like... their, did his character poorly, but his character itself is cool enough that I'm like, okay. Yeah. Um, I actually don't like the Mr. Big Guy with the big gun. Oh, yeah. yeah. I hate... I hate... But yeah, hate besides him. him, I can say everybody else was done terrible. But yeah. I mean, um, actually, speaking of those characters, I did think of a character or two that I don't like. I actually don't like, and this is very recent, Kenobi. I don't like almost, I hate all the Inquisitors except for the main Inquisitor. I hate all the Inquisitors, including the main Inquisitor. <laughs> I hate the Grand Inquisitor. Speaking of which, I have a theory to talk to you about on that. Remind me. Okay. Anyways, I hate the Grand Inquisitor. I hate the Fifth Brother. I hate... I, like, I just don't like them. They just, it was just the choice. It was just their, it was just the choice of like how they looked and stuff. Yeah. I just do not like it. I hate it. They just look. Agreed. Like, they, they're, they're, they, they look so terrible. Yeah. And I've only seen bits and pieces of what Inquisitors are supposed to look like. But yeah. Uh, I mean, Inquisitors are not supposed to look like anything. They just, uh, okay, do. what Inquisitor? But like, they do definitely have a distinct look to them. I mean, they have the, Dark ar- the black armor that they wear. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> but they still have like a distinct look to them. Uh, yeah, I guess you could say that. What like, they definitely do. <laughs> look at any Inquisitor; they have a very distinct look. I mean, there's one with a helmet. There's one with a. There's that the fifth okay, brother. With okay, the hat. okay. Maybe not a distinct look. <laughs> yes, a distinct look. Like, even, it does, I'm not saying like they, everyone looks the same. That's not what I'm saying at all. I'm saying they as a group. Like have a uniform. Oh, have okay, a, okay. Have a but okay. just like the way they carry themselves and do things. Like it's very much yeah, set. They, yeah, um, and that's one thing that annoyed me. And but we're not talking about <laughs> this show. We'll talk about that later. But it did annoy me that like they're supposed to act a very specific way, and yeah. then they just like threw that out. Mm-hmm. They're like, mm-hmm. we can do whatever the heck we want. And, yeah, you might get mad at me, but who cares, right? Just like kill her already. Um, yeah, I I think we can move on unless you have more things you want to talk about. Um. I mean, yeah, that I hate almost all the characters in the newer movies. Mm-hmm. I guess there's nobody in the Clone Wars that I hate. Rebels. Mm. Okay. Oh yeah, Rebels. Ezra. Mm-hmm. Horrible. Oh yeah, you know what, uh, Ezra? I actually hate uh, him. Mandalorian chick. You don't like Sabine? Sabine, terrible. Um, wow. Monkey dude. Oh him. Terrible. Uh, Zeb. Zeb. Mm-hmm. Uh. 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 Main character, Jedi guy. Kanan? Kanan Jarrus. Terrible. Uh, wow. <laughs> Jim, I don't know anyone else. Oh, droid dude. Terrible. For me, at least. <laughs> I actually do hate Zeb and Rebels, so. Nice. Um, but other than that, <clears throat> nobody really else in Rebels. I can't think. I haven't seen Rebels in a long time. Need to watch it again. I don't know. I, know. I don't know. Yes, I do. All right. <laughs> okay. Well, I think we're done with Star Wars characters. Shall we move on to Marvel characters? Anybody? Well, really fast. Least favorite. Mm. I'm sorry. We are not done with Star Wars. Oh, my bad. Mandalorian. I don't like the dude that wields the dark, wants the dark saber as a cool. villain. Oh, you don't like uh, Moff Gideon? Moff Gideon. I think he was a pretty bad villain. Yeah. I don't like. I'm. Yeah. yeah I don't like him. Um, I hear rumors he's supposed to return. So. Right. I fear. I mean, it seemed like he would. But I feel like they did the characters pretty well. They did. 
It's like they knew what Star Wars was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can't think of it. I'm sure there's... A, I, I can remember some episodes I'd be like, yeah, but I can't. Really yeah. Off the top yeah. of my head. Actually, what about that? I actually don't... I actually hate the guy that the, we first meet that the Mandalorian was hunting in the first episode. I don't remember who he was hunting. Yeah. I don't like him, actually. I hate okay. him. I forget his name. But yeah, I hate him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll look it up while we go into Marvel. <laughs> All right, Marvel characters uh, that I dislike. Um, yeah, I don't know his name, but he's a mithro. He's the blue fish type dude who was being beat up in the bar after oh, the yeah. fight. Yeah, that's who it is. If you guys know his name, send it down in the comments. Um, okay, well, getting back to Marvel, let's, let's start with uh, Icarus. Is that his name? All right. Um, e- the, the, the the eternal that yeah ends yeah. up being like the villain. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I hate him. Actually, I just hate all the eternals. Oh, yeah, but like I feel like his story had the most potential <laughs> and went the furthest off track. Um, and I didn't hate. I don't hate all the eternals. I very much like the mind control kid. Oh, um, you did? Yeah. I really liked him, liked his story, liked his motivations and stuff, and they they just didn't explore it well enough for me to know much more about him, so I wouldn't say they did his character well, but I did enjoy his character, and what's-his-face, he, he, great actor, really liked that actor. Okay. Um, and then, it's very similar with, um, what's-her-face? Why am I forgetting her name? <laughs> the lady. The white. Yeah, yeah, I know who you're talking like, about. I feel like, once again, very interesting character. Mm-hmm. They just didn't really explore her backstory enough and then just didn't finish her story. And so it felt very open and empty. But it was I, definitely an interesting character. Okay. But everybody else was pretty terrible. The uh, villain, <laughs> if you can even call him that, but the uh, whatever they were called, creatures, deviants, awful. Bad design, bad. Yeah, they were pretty bad. Just set especially, up so especially the one one deviant who yeah. was like getting all. Yeah, I hated him. Um, so we got them. Let's see. Oh, oh, this might make some people angry, but cannot stand Yelena Belova. Even though I like that actress a lot. Yeah, it cannot stand her character. <laughs> so, and like, I didn't like her Black Widow. And then in Hawkeye, she was so bad. <laughs> like, she was at least fun in Hawkeye, but like, her character was so bad. Like, yeah, yeah. Not she, if you just like lined up all the hand to hand combatants in Marvel, I would not want her in that lineup at all. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see. And then, yeah, in Black Widow, there's a whole lot, but like, the villain, so bad. Could have been so good too. Yeah, uh, their their father. Oh, I love him. Oh, you like I him? I love him so much. I love <laughs> okay. that actor so much. And the Red Guardian, like they definitely could have done him better. Don't get me wrong. Mm-hmm. No, 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 no. They did. It's not that they could have done it better. It's like if they would have picked a different story, his character to tell, like his character could have been really cool. Okay. The story, yeah, he was not the problem with that movie at all. Okay, okay. In my um, opinion. well, I've only seen it once, so okay. same here. Uh, what about their mother? Taskmaster, terrible. Oh, and Taskmaster, Taskmaster, is such a good villain. Yeah, and it's just sad to see that happen. Very sad. Very sad. Um, the mother not done as well as the father, but really not done terribly. And and like the twist with her was really good. Okay, but they threw away very quickly. <laughs> yeah, pretty quickly. And it was like um, there one second gone. But the next. like they hadn't set it up right at all, and yeah. then it didn't pay off at all. So, um, <laughs> but her character, yeah, okay, not a big fan. Um, let's see other characters I dislike. Uh, what about Whiplash? Oh, you don't like Whiplash? Stay on villains here. I guess we could have separated heroes and villains in Marvel, but like, yeah, Whiplash, terrible villain. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Actually, I have someone. How about I am actually. Right now, I hate Shang Chi. Um, I don't hate. I mean, I hate the movie. I yeah, know. I hate the movie. Uh, I believe I hate the character. I'm sorry. I also hate his girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> I hate. I, I definitely. Uh, uh, whatever her name is, Aquafina's character. Yeah, 
cannot stand I need, her. I need another movie or a show or whatever with him in it to yeah. come for me to like lock in and be like, okay, I actually like him. Right now, I don't like him. I hate him. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I agree. Ooh, another one that might be controversial a little bit. Aldrich Killian. Aldrich, Aldrich, Aldrich Killian. Aldrich Killian, the, uh, the Iron Man 3. The yeah, one. the uh, extremist guy. Extremist. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hate him. You hate him. Did yeah, I hate him too? He's so bad. Um, uh, I hate him, and I hate everything. Everybody that works with him. <laughs> I mean, I I like the Mandalorian. What well, Mandarin <laughs> is fine. Like, and he's acted so well. True. His story, like the the twist they decide to go with, was terrible. Yeah. <clears throat> but I, I I did enjoy his character. Yeah, yeah. I guess that's true. Um, what about... What do you think of the Mandarin and Shang-Chi? It's what I've always wanted, <laughs> but at the same time, it wasn't what yeah. I wanted. I did not like it. I I can't say I hated it, but I can't say I liked it. Yeah. So, it was. It would be hard for me to really choose if I hated it or mm-hmm. not. So I don't. I don't think I hate it. I do think he was done pretty poorly, but I didn't hate him. Um, what about there was there, man who isn't there? There is a character in Civil War, isn't there? That there are characters in Civil War. That's not what I'm saying. It's not whatever his name at the very beginning. The, of, at the very beginning of Civil War. Yeah, who was in Winter Soldier? It was in Winter Soldier. It was at the start of Civil Crossbones. War. Oh, Crossbones. Yeah, he's. I don't. I don't have any feelings. You have no feelings, positive Graham? or negative. Okay. What about uh, Ross? Is it Thaddeus Ross? Thaddeus, Thaddeus Ross. Thunderbolt Ross. Whoever was in Civil War. I haven't seen the movie in a long time. There's no Ross. In... Oh, uh, whoever played. Uh, what is his name? He played the uh, Hobbit in. He played. Oh, uh, that guy. Um, Martin Freeman. Yeah, Martin Freeman. That's who it is. Uh, I would have never gotten that. What is, what is his name? Um, I forget his name. But what do you? What did you? Did you? Did you I like, didn't the char- like the character? Um, I definitely don't think it's one of the worst Marvel characters. How's about if it's who I'm thinking of? Ego. Ego. What's he in? He's the villain in. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. That's right. I actually do hate him. <laughs> yeah, he's such a poorly done villain. He had so much potential, too. <laughs> like like any everybody we're talking about, even in Star Wars, I'm going to say, <laughs> had, had so much potential. Like, they could have been so much better. I mean, yeah, they all could have been better. I mean, that's why they're right bad. But yeah. uh, I feel like there's some that... It, they didn't have to try that hard to make them good, you know. Mm-hmm. Everett Ross, that's his name. Everett Ross. I knew it was a Ross. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> speaking, in, speaking on Rosses, what do you think of Thunderbolt Ross? Like that is Ross. The uh, Incredible Hulk. The uh, general. Oh, him. I haven't seen Incredible Hulk. Yeah, he's one where I think his character is poorly done, but just so well acted. <laughs> and I don't really care. <laughs> yeah. It's one of those like 50 50s where you're just like, Ah, oh, he plays so well, but his character is so poorly done. <laughs> yeah. What about? I know he, he has some problems with this. What about any characters in Miss Marvel or Marvel or Captain uh, Marvel? Captain Marvel. <laughs> uh, why? Um. Um. I mean, Captain Marvel. I was gonna get to hero, kind of like work up to like the main heroes, but we can okay, talk about okay. Captain Marvel. Okay. Absolutely hate her. <laughs> her character is done so poorly. There's a really good um, video on YouTube if you look up like how to make a good female superhero yeah. is this lady that is a writer and she has a video about like the difference basically she compares black widow to captain marvel mm-hmm. and shows how one is really done well done Mar- hero and one's a really poorly done female hero yeah she her story is just so poorly done there's they give you literally no you don't get a chance to like her yeah. because she never goes through anything. Mm-hmm. And that's the thing with like hero. All heroes go through so they prove themselves to be a hero, right? Yeah. She never even gets that chance. So it's like, I'm not going to necessarily put it on that I hate the character fully. But yeah, like, unless they, it's like, she's, yeah, they just haven't even given her a chance. And it's fairly, really sad. I, I mean, I don't love her in the comics or anything, but it is very sad, like, how bad the writing is in that movie. Um, and everybody else, I mean, Jude Law, the little girl. Um, <laughs> now, Jude Law, spectacular <laughs> actor. Well, I, I understand why you're laughing here. <laughs> yes, if you guys have stuck around for very long, you will uh, 
understand that reference. But anyways, <laughs> Jude Law, he's a great actor. His, I can't even remember the guy's name, Car- Craven, Car- Harkin, Harkin. I don't remember his name. Some, <laughs> yeah, I don't know his name either. For some reason, I, I don't can't like remember. Corvac. Corvac. Uh, How do you know that? I t- uh, <laughs> uh, he, his character, once again, like they didn't give him a chance. Yeah. And it's because, like, so he's the general of the Kree or whatever. And so he needed Miss Captain Marvel to be, you know, a good character for his character to be good because of their, like, quarrel and, like, everything. And so I feel like his character was good. And it, but it's just really simple because it couldn't it couldn't be um, <laughs> an, an opposition to such a bland character that yeah, ended yeah. up being bland. But yeah. I think it, I didn't hate it. Um, but speaking of the little girl, I cannot stand Maria Randall. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Monica's fine. Didn't hate her. But yes, I hate Maria Randall. And especially how quickly she was able to use. Yeah. The- I mean, it's so hard to do good wild characters especially in a superhero movie um but i was just like think in movies it's so hard like there's so many few like child characters that are main characters that are good there mm-hmm. are some out there um sixth sense to name one like just yeah. so well done but they're always like it, it, so many times i watch them and i'm just like i've never met a child like this and that's just how it was and that like wow there's no if you put that exact same story into an older character yeah it's still a bad character but like i wouldn't have been like this feels like it should be a younger character you know at all and that's just such bad writing um Mm -hmm. yeah yeah here's someone else i absolutely hated the ghost oh so yeah (laughs) and they did nothing she wouldn't know where is she (laughs) yeah exactly (laughs) that's my (laughs) side yeah uh, now that's another movie with just so many bad characters Mm -hmm. goes just goes nowhere her story goes nowhere it's once again and potential yeah you didn't need to do much with her character to give her potential like we're gonna definitely feel for her right like yeah but they just don't go anywhere with her her backstory is so bland mm-hmm. um yeah and she's like and um, she her powers are really cool yeah her powers are cool i um, love ghost as the character in the marvel comics yeah. or, and in a lot of the marvel shows that i've watched mm-hmm. he is so cool she is so cool Whoever, whichever <laughs> type, it just yeah, it's ruined. Saying that movie and uh, and the Goliath, uh, the guy who uh, oh, is helping who, her. Oh, um, I can't remember his yeah his other his actual name his alter ego, but the one who he's Goliath in the comics. Mm-hmm. Um, that's terrible. And yeah, his, his that's a lot harder character than Ghost, but yeah, he was he was not fun, and uh, I feel like. That just that whole part of it drug so much. That whole movie's just bad because it didn't. Mm-hmm. It just felt like it didn't have much direction. Um, and then the other villain, I don't try, the guy who's trying to get the pin particles. You know, mm-hmm. it's like the gangster dude, yeah, the black he, market guy, or whatever. So yeah, bad. I don't know his name. Yeah, and um, I like that actor quite a bit, but yeah, I do not like his character. Mm-hmm. Um. Oh, actually. I want to go take a couple steps back here. Go back to Star Wars real fast. Okay. The dude who played the Grand Inquisitor. There was a lot of controversy on him. Not well, just a lot of a lot of people were saying how he didn't watch Rebels and did watch Rebels. It was really confusing because he because people were saying he didn't watch Rebels. I mean, he did watch Rebels to learn how the uh, Grand Inquisitor was. He finally confirmed that he watched Rebels and he. I still got, like, I still felt like he wasn't the Grand Inquisitor. <laughs> yeah. Like, it was like, if you watched it, you should know how the Grand Inquisitor is and yeah. stuff. I think he tried to tried to be like the Grand Inquisitor, just did not do the best yeah. job at it. I'm sorry, but, um, and I think that goes t- to the same, same account as the person who plays the fifth brother in that. Mm-hmm. So, just terrible. Just terrible. <laughs> Uh, moving on. <laughs> yeah, I think I just got a couple more Marvel before we move on to a different topic. Ronan, I think he asked me. In oh, there. oh, please, yes, let's talk about Ronan, please. <laughs> it's just another one that had so much potential. It's yeah, like he's such like a menacing. Is supposed to be like an executor of worlds. Uh-huh. Like that's who he is in the comics. He like judges and he is a judge, jury, and executioner. Right? Exactly. Like he judges you in here, and they set him up immediately to be something like that 
Yeah. And then it just goes <laughs> off the rails so quickly. Mm-hmm. And I like that movie quite a bit. And I understand why it's some people's favorite movie. I can give, I'm not, it's not my favorite. I can totally understand why people have it as favorite. Why it doesn't make it up there for me is very big part the villain. <laughs> that he is just not, and he's not even a good villain for the Guardians to go up against there. Yeah. He could have been, he could have been, but like he feels so unthreatening by the end of it that like do you think there's no way that the Guardians can lose? And that's just a bad character. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You actually just reminded me of a Star Wars character that we missed. Okay. Oba Fett. I mean, I didn't really. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I didn't like it. I hated it. I mean, yeah. Like, it, it, with like Boba Fett, and I kind of felt the same, you know, with Boba Fett and other of the newer stuff that are like r- bringing characters that are in older things. Mm. I don't. It's really hard to go into if I like yeah. them or not because like they are so different. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if I separate like Boba Fett from any of the original stuff from Boba Fett in the show. Yeah. The show he's, his character is terrible. Yeah. And I guess in that same vein, his sidekick even worse. Fennec, Fennec Shand. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, she's pretty cool in uh, bad batch. Well, I haven't seen her in anything else. So. <laughs> I don't but think other than that. Yeah. She is pretty bad, but yeah, going back to Ronan, he like, I love the, I love his, his I love how he is in the comics and yeah. in the shows being the judge jury and executioner and yeah. stuff like that. And like, like I said, like they start out, you see that when you first meet him. Yeah. And then he's just like this little kid brag going on. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, a tantrum the rest of the time. Yeah. Uh, Especially in front of Thanos. Yeah. <laughs> so bad. Especially. And then it gets worse once we get to infinity war, right? Cause we learned what Thanos was doing at that time, right? He oh. is judging worlds. Could have been such a better story. Yeah. Because if he is, you know, leading this army that's wiping out half of every population, and let's say, you know, goes out there, you know, starts, loves this so much that he's starting to do it to more than half the population. And so he gets on yeah. Thanos' yeah. bad side too, you know, would have been so much better. Anyways. Yeah, exactly. Um, um uh, is there any, I mean, there's more I just can't think Anybody of. Anybody on Guardians of the Galaxy themselves or. Uh, none that I'd put on a list of like bad, okay. you know. Uh, okay, actually no, Mantis. I forgot. Oh, in the yes, first one, nobody. Yes. But yeah, it's Mantis in the second oh, one. Oh, just man, I hate her. <laughs> and then, uh, like, I don't think her character's done that bad, so I don't know if I. What put does her she on. do? Exactly, but like, she's so useless. <laughs> like, how in the world does she fight? Like. I assume there is some fighting technique that she knows, but we never see it. I mean, her fighting technique is touch you so that you start feeling extreme pain or whatever she wants you to feel, you know? But that is so weird. But like the way that they, yeah, the way that they just depict her, like, yeah. is so confusing. And her personality is so all over the place. Uh huh. And it just makes for, and like, I know that's kind of how her character is. Yeah. But. Still confusing. Her character's just terrible. Like, I don't like her in the comics. I don't like her in games. I don't like her in TV shows. Like, nothing I've ever seen her in. Like, her character is just... They just need to stop making her character. <laughs> like, she's just bad. Any Anybody in Spider-Man? Anybody in... Uh, Spider-Man? I don't think there's barely anybody in... Homecoming, I don't... I like... I mean... There's nobody that I'd put... Yeah, like... Yeah, there's nobody I would put character. in the Spider-Man. What about anybody in Captain America? The first Avenger? Mm, nobody that I'd put like that low. Yeah, I think that kind of does it. All right. I I, I guess. No. I want to. Wait. What, 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 what? What? Like, very recently, I've been thinking about how, if we're going on like a full character arc to where we are now, and not knowing where we're going in the future, Falcon might make it. Really? Absolutely love him in Winter Soldier. Yeah. After Winter Soldier, like, I feel like they haven't really gone anywhere with him and then they tried to in mm-hmm. falcon and the winter soldier and in that was bad like just how poorly they did pushing his character forward felt very stagnant felt like he wasn't yeah when once he got to a point you know where his character changed we didn't know why mm-hmm. um and that's saying like surprising with how much talking there is in that show oh. uh, like not to get onto the show but his character in that show was done so poorly that that would be one that now i might 
put it in a list like that. Really? I'm trying to think of like heroes that I would, yeah, because like there are villains and side characters that definitely, but like of the heroes, he's definitely one of the worst. <laughs> um, really, he's the worst. One of. He's the worst. One of <laughs> all the other ones, the Eternals I've mentioned and Captain Marvel, all worse than him. So uh, he's the worst. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's move on. Do you have a Star Wars thing or? Because there's I'll, one that I we could probably talk about both. Yeah. If you want, I was I do have one that we could talk about. Okay. I could definitely go into Marvel. All right. I was gonna go into fights. All right. Uh, yeah, I like this because. I was what I was thinking was deaths. Oh, okay. So we could yeah. Kind of put them together. Fights, yeah, I like it. Fight I like scenes it. and deaths. I have best or the worst. Oh, both. I have so many in in mind here for Star Wars. All right, it's mostly in the sequel trilogy. Okay, I hate the one where Finn. Ray and Kylo Ren are fighting yeah. on that planet. Yeah, I oh especially hate so Finn <laughs> fighting. Yeah. It's like if you are an inexperienced. <laughs> Blade, but just just basically in in the real world today, if you're just an inexperienced blade master going up against a master, you are yeah. going to lose. Yeah, no, I mean every fight with Finn is that way, right? Like yeah. he's an inexperienced fighter <laughs> that goes fully off of motion. Yeah, and he like stands his ground in every fight he has, and it's just. So sad because yeah. his character, once again, so much potential there, mm-hmm. and his character could have been so good if he would have yeah. lost and learned and fought and lost and learned and fought. But no, he just wins and fights and wins and fights yeah. and yeah. doesn't learn anything. And is the same character from the start to the end. Yeah, um, I also don't like uh, Kylo Ren's fighting style. Like, I love his fighting. Like, I don't. I, I'm not just saying, but I love the just like force. He, I'm not saying it'll be in the in the that down low but yeah. i don't like it for some reason it might be just because of the style of lightsaber he has yeah um because it just makes it some very hard to maneuver right. it around but like that's one thing i like that we haven't necessarily seen like a i'm not saying i like his character his character had a lot of work that needed to be done yeah but th- when it comes to, like his fighting i think they did do a good job of showing that he fights purely based on force yeah and like his lightsaber shows that you know I, his yeah, fighting I style shows that, that. Adam Driver, you're amazing. <laughs> he shows that very well. Your characters could have done so much better. I will say that the one time that they do actually do a very good job of his fighting is when he was fighting against. Yeah. I think that's the one time they showed it yeah. uh, to me. I mean, not to get into his character much, it's yeah. not fighting, but the one part of the character that doesn't make sense is his, like, struggle. Yeah. Because it doesn't really compute with the way he fights. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but anyways, I don't want to really get yeah, this character. We're, we're, fight we're, scenes, we're, yeah. What oh. do you think? Oh, go ahead. No, can, continue, please. Final fight scene. Very, like final fight scene with Ray and him and Palpatine, Palpatine. and the... Uh, I absolutely hate that oh, fight scene. I hate it. Like, it's so I, ugly. It is ugly. <laughs> and so dark like, and hard to tell what's going I've on. I've actually seen a side-by-side comparison of the two, of of the final fight scene and like the original trilogy fight. Yeah. <laughs> Not even close. Yeah. It's just like the camera what? works bad. The lighting's so bad. It's hard to tell what's going on. Yeah. And the not cuts only that, are all janky. And not only that, like their movements themselves was terrible. Yeah. It was so bad. Yeah, like whoever like, choreographed this whole fight yeah. was bad. I'm sorry, but you're, it's just terrible. I also don't like the fight in, I, I, I don't like the fight in the uh, throne room. In episode, in episode eight. eight, yeah, I like that fight. Well, I mean, it was it's, mainly it was mainly well, Ray herself who was who, who I had a problem with. Yeah, again, another inexperienced lightsaber right. wielder. Right, right, and like, and you're just but able the force to take, was strong with her. No, <laughs> doesn't make any sense. Yeah, uh, from that perspective, I can see, but stylistically, I very much enjoyed it. Okay, okay, stylistically, sure, and it has Pretty, its faults too. Like yeah. people randomly. Losing weapons. <laughs> losing weapons and falling down when they don't get hit. Yeah, exactly. But it was still a pretty beautiful fight. Yeah. Uh, any any fights in the, any other fights in the Star Wars? There's this one when um, it's like uh, no, no don't say it. Don't you dare say it. Uh, <laughs> we all know where I was going. Oh, Boba Fett of the fight with uh, Cad Bane. The ending. The uh, ending. I could. What a great concept started fine. Yeah. Just so dumb at the end. It was pretty stupid. I didn't like so many bad cuts. Yeah. 
And that dumb I don't face. understand what it is with people in cuts during a fight. Right. Like, I mean, yeah, you got to have them, but like, yeah, just like so true. poorly. Like, show us what you need to see. We don't need to zoom in on his face. Yeah, exactly. Um, and then the one I mentioned this before, the one when what's her face, his sidekick goes and murders all those people. Just so poorly done. It's not really a fight scene, but. Oh, Benic, Benic Shan just kills all those yeah, guys. from all these different <laughs> angles. <laughs> that made no like, sense. She apparently has teleportation powers. So that's why they couldn't show her doing it because yeah. <laughs> they didn't have a budget for that. Um, that was so stupid. Let's uh, think here. Um, what about no, no, no? I mean, in the prequels, I really want to hear this now. <laughs> I, I I don't remember, but since we're talking about deaths, we can talk about maybe the dumbest death in all of that ended up not being a death, but. Oh, are you talking about a uh, mall? Yeah, yeah. That was yeah. so stupid. <laughs> it was pretty stupid, yeah. just because I feel like there wasn't enough struggle. Oh, and, my, and, and like he could have just, eh, you know, forced him off this thing. Yeah, true. He could have forced him, but at the could same have time, just like taken his own lightsaber and dropped it on his head. You know, like there's so many options, but he's just like, I hit the ground. Wait, he hit the ground. He just like swiped his lightsaber and just like. Hitting that stuff. Oh, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. For no apparent reason. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. What he was doing, I actually looked this up. What he was doing was making the sparks to make Obi Wan let go. Right. So, like, still, yeah, exactly. He could have done so much more, forced him down anything. Yeah. I agree. Um, yeah, that was pretty and stupid. And then, and then, like, watching Obi Wan, like, jump up, <laughs> up and just, like, watch him. Grab the lightsaber, watch it, like, does it do anything? Like, <laughs> yeah. It's it like, pretty stupid. I'm, I can defeat Qui-Gon Jinn easily, but now that you have you, it's like, what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was pretty stupid. In the, I would have to say, I don't like, I don't think I liked the death of Anakin. Yeah, maybe I did. I don't know. Anakin stuff? Like, oh, before he, you no, know, sorry. I got that. I was thinking of Mustafar for some reason when he was fighting Obi-Wan Kenobi. I don't know why I was thinking that. I don't know why. I, was... I mean, that is when Anakin died. <laughs> true. And Darth Vader was born. True, true, true. But, but uh, that, I mean, I don't hate that. I mean, it's got its problems, but. Yeah. True. I personally don't. Uh, well, actually, you know what? Never mind. There is some points that actually do make sense, but at the same time, it doesn't. Um, All right, moving on. <laughs> speaking of deaths, though, can, can go back to the sequels. Your lady that <laughs> I mean, looks beautiful. <laughs> yeah, it's but just so dumb. Yeah. Um, and so we can go to deaths that sh- didn't happen that should have happened. Leia's like floating out in space thingy. Oh, what? Yeah. And exactly. Rose's saving fan. That made no sense. <laughs> oh my gosh. Two of the worst seeds ever put in front of me. Oh my gosh. So yeah. bad. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was right. so stupid. I think that's all I got for Star Wars. Unless you got some, um, I feel like there's another death that was just terrible. Another I'm death missing. that was terrible. I mean, d- maybe Cad Bane. I think he's still alive, but yeah, same here. But he's dead to us right now. Yeah, it was bad. Yeah. It was very bad. <laughs> very, very bad. Um, yeah, who? There is somebody else. Yeah, so like, there another is one in the prequels. That yeah, just was really bad. Padme Amidala. <laughs> I mean, you don't really get to see it. There's a lot of Jedi deaths. Yes. I'm sure some of them were bad. I don't remember. All right. Anyways, yeah, anything else on. you got in Star Wars? Um. Well, is there anything in the animated shows that you've noticed, that, that you've seen? Any oh, fights? man. Uh, There's so many fights. There are so many. And they're all generally good. Yeah, they're, they are. Uh, um, like, uh, I guess there's some... Uh, like the one thing I'd say, like I want to put any of these like in bad fight scenes, but there's a lot of just like shooting, you know. Yeah, that, or that's just very like true. bullets going everywhere. We don't really know what's happening. It's just like okay, apparently they're not hitting our main characters, but moving on, you know. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Just like it's gonna happen when you have just massive battles like that. But yeah, n- none that I'd necessarily say was like a bad fight scene. But um, you'd be much better ass than me on that. Yeah, uh, there's not much I can. There's not really a fight scene in there that I can think of. Moving on to Marvel. All right, you got any off the top of your head? You know, I'm going to have to say it. I didn't like the fight scene. Not against the creatures in Shang-Chi, but the people. Like at the end? Yeah. Yeah, that was terrible. I hated that. Um, Yeah, there's a lot of third act fight scenes we can go to here um, that are that way. I mean, we're going to probably hit a lot of the same movies we hit with bad characters, but... Yeah. um, 
for me, the one that stands out maybe the biggest is once again an Iron Man three, the final fight scene oh, with the please. extremists and like just such a mess. It is a mess, and just didn't need to be. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'd say uh, I think the way all three of them, like the final fights in all three of them, my Iron Man movies were so unsatisfying, and they all had they all went on like that too. Like none of them just ended. Like they all got like. Iron Man 1, right? He flies him up, outwits him, wins, and then he comes back and he has to kill him again, right? Oh, yeah. Iron yeah. Man 2. He he and uh, Rhodey like, do that whole thing, shoot each other, you know, defeat him, and then he has to kill him again, right? Well, they shoot each other, defeat him, and then he blows up. Right. And then Iron Man 3, he, like, defeats him, and then he heals himself, you know? And they, like, remember they drop him and he falls into that burning thing and they oh, think they defeat him and then yes. you see him, like, crawl out. <laughs> and then had brass to defeat him. Oh, it's so dumb. Yeah, that was pretty. Stupid. But like, yeah, all three of them just had unsatisfying, which is kind of sad. Especially Iron Man One, because Iron Man One was such a good movie. Mm-hmm. And, mm-hmm. and he outwitted him. Like that's what he's supposed to do. He beat him, and then they had. Uh, yeah. Anyways, yeah they, you always, apparently, they always have to have it. Like a. Apparently, Pepper always has to beat him. I guess in Iron Man Two, she doesn't do that, but no, she's she the one doesn't. who sets off the reactor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and we thought Iron Man was the hero. Um, <laughs> But yeah, I don't. Uh, on a, another one for Iron Man three, the one when he's like hand to hand fighting everybody, getting all like without his armor. Yeah. Oh please, <laughs> I hate that fight. Scene <laughs> that was so that much. was pretty stupid. And they, it just like it was just really bad timing too because it had Iron Man three came out. So we just had seen like Captain America. Yeah. And then then Avengers. And then we we're about to see Captain America Winter Soldier. Yeah. And like if you compare those fight scenes that are hand to hand to that fight scene that's like hand to hand, it's so bad. Anyways. It's like um, why do they have Robert Downey Jr. doing this? He's not his strong suit. Let him back. <laughs> Anyways. What about I really don't want to go to this movie? Black Widow. I mean, it had I don't know if I'd put any of the fights like okay. <laughs> <laughs> the first first time we see her in Taskmaster fights good fight yeah. scene definitely a good it, fight it scene. ends terribly unsatisfying and then after that like the fight scenes themselves weren't terrible like I don't know if I put any of them in like the bad category it's just like the story was so bad that like they felt really lame okay, and then the okay. CGI I will say like especially the one in Paris or whatever the heck they are Prague I forget where they, I were. Where they were but it's just so much bad CGI and the fight is meh. And then the stunt work wasn't very good in the fight with the Elena in the oh. apartment. But like, yeah. Anyways. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I put any of them like, yeah, they were just mediocre. There's a fight scene for me, not in Black Widow. Because I think you're right. There's, I don't think any of the Black Widow fight scenes. I mean, there is that very terrible shot when, when Elena blows up the, turbine or whatever yeah <laughs> that was so bad um uh i think there's a fight between uh, in ant-man and the wasp okay with the ghost i think is it ant-man or is it ant-man and the wasp against the ghost i forget Ant-Man which and the wasp has the ghost in it no <laughs> Oh, I'm asking. I'm asking uh, which one. See, like, if it's both of them fighting the ghost, or if it was just like Ant Man or just the Wasp. I, I believe just. I think they both fight her. Both times they fight her. Okay. Okay. I don't. But, you know, I don't remember the movie very well, so I can barely remember these. Yeah. Fight so scenes. like with the fight scenes in Ant Man and Ant Man and the Wasp, like both movies, like there's so many gags that yeah. go along with the fights. Like I would definitely not put any of them. Like. As good fight scenes, definitely there's none of them are good. But I don't I don't know. They're like their job isn't to be like these great fight scenes. So like what they do, they do fine. Um, but yes, there is the fight scene with Ghost in the second one. I think it's the second time they fight her. And yeah, it's so janky. So many yeah. cut like they had to cut so much and you can oh, tell yeah, that, that like you could tell that not like they were fighting in completely separate rooms. Like they they weren't even fighting each other. And it just CGI wasn't very good. The fight scene wasn't very good. The choreography wasn't very good. Um, and that'd be like, and that was a lot of like hand to hand and, uh, and CGI, but yeah, that one wasn't very good. Any others? Uh, we are running out of time here. And I say, let's do one more category here. All right. 
and this should be a pretty short one. I don't know, Star Wars, you might have a lot to talk about, but in Marvel, I just have a couple. And this is plot holes. Plot holes. Where's plot holes? Plot holes. There's definitely there's a, a lot, lot of plot, you know, and it doesn't have to be plot holes, but like, like Ghost would be one for me, where she's just dropped off the face of the earth, right? Yeah. Or the whole Black Widow for me. Like, it's just stuck in this random time, and <laughs> nobody cares about it, right? Yeah, exactly. Like, uh... No, like in all, nothing since bef- before it, after it, whether it's the timeline or in how movies have come out, right? Since it's mm-hmm. thrown in, in the middle of phase three or at the start of phase three, nobody's ever t- mentioned the red room since. No one's ever mentioned the guy who runs it. Nobody's yeah. ever mentioned this black market thing. It's just a <laughs> giant plot hole in itself. So, and it, you know, stuff like that. Like yeah. Just plots that go nowhere, have nothing to do with anything. Eternals, that's another one. Giant plot hole. A movie that is a plot hole. But then again, we haven't seen the effects yet, since I'm assuming all the movies that have come out since that movie are kind of before it, not after it. Yeah. Even though they're after it in our watching timeline. And Thor, Thor Love and Thunder is going to be the same way, so we're probably not going to hear anything about it till and I'm bad for... Well, Wakanda will probably start touching on it. Wakanda yeah. forever. I don't think Quantumania is going to have anything to do with that. Anyways, you're not talking about the yeah, future. Let's focus on the here and now <laughs> um i could talk so much about like the sequels yeah, i mean yeah there they are so much we don't have to go too in depth but yeah what, yeah, what, um, what plot holes do you got like where did ray get it like how come ray is so like i feel like the plot hole in and of itself is ray being strong really strong with the force yeah. and not no training like what <laughs> and just like yeah the plot hole of like her not working like other Jedi's work. Right? Yeah, exactly. Every other Jedi has to go through. And like, I think the other plot hole with this along the same lines is like the way Skywalkers work. Right. Yeah. And like, we, we start with like Luke's story, right. Mm-hmm. And how he has, anyways, we don't need to go into his character arc cause it's fantastic. But, and then Anakin has a very parallel, but diverging character yeah. arc. And then you got Ray who's supposed to be like the next one. Do, and she's just so different. Like, yeah. And, the way skywalkers aren't like these just incredibly powerful jedi it's like that's not what they are yeah exactly they might train to become that but they're not yeah so yeah, it was it, it was it's so like took like the superhero genre and tried to like force it into the star wars universe, yeah no know? no and it's like that's not how star wars works mm-hmm. yeah Ooh, how about palpatine in nine that's oh, a please, giant no <laughs> they're like they tried to fix it by putting like cloning tubes around him, but it's like still that does nothing. That's, yeah. that, no, it's, it is a giant. Pl- How in the world? <laughs> I get so mad every time Palpatine is mentioned in, in episode nine. I can't. That is so, and how about the giant plot hole of the entire fleet? That comes in episode nine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, where did they come from? <sighs> that makes no sense. Everybody says it's Lando's fleet, but I don't think they ever mentioned Lando right. having a fleet. Definitely. Even the the Star Destroyers with the planet killers on them. What? Yeah. Each in, there's thousands of Star Destroyers with thousands of planet killers. Mm-hmm. What? <laughs> it's just so stupid. I don't like it. <laughs> Um, what else? Do you have any? Have you? Do you know any? Um, I mean, I don't know. I don't. Uh, like, I'm so bad on the timeline and stuff. Yeah, yeah, which is that, totally fine. Uh, it's really hard for me to like remember like what you know is the backstory for what and whatnot. But um, tell me one, and I'll let you know if, if, if there is a. Like, <laughs> I feel like the way Boba Fett and Boba Fett became like crime boss dude took over Jabba's palace like I feel like that's just a big plot hole <laughs> like it doesn't explain why he was able to even do that they kind of did a Mandalorian and Mandalorian they explained that yes I think it was an after credit scene he just went in killed everybody and sat down <laughs> yeah. but still, and then like yeah. the other plot holes like the way that the huts tried to deal with it I <laughs> yes thank you yes that, like, that is a plot hole instead of us just walking there and killing everybody and taking over <laughs> yeah, exactly. we're gonna like have this like back <laughs> war thing going on and try to manipulate yeah, everything it's like, yeah, like what? I feel like that's not the huts at all but okay I think a plot hole is one of like 
I think I don't know if you can really consider it a plot hole, but I'm considering. I think it is a plot hole. Okay. Of no main villain for Boba Fett. I mean, it was poor writing. Yeah. Like, I don't know if it's a plot hole. It's a hole in the plot. <laughs> but I don't know if it's a plot hole. <laughs> I think the plot hole is Cad Bane. Okay. Yeah. Like. Um, what? <laughs> yeah. Why was he not there earlier? Yeah. Um. I as much as I love seeing Cad Bane in the final episode, mm-hmm. in the final two episodes, whatever episodes he was in, like, love seeing him in there. Just love almost, almost every scene with him in. Yeah. Just could have been way more with him in. Like, why? Um. Oh, isn't there one with? Uh, I feel like I've heard this talked about with um in Mandalorian season two with is it with another mandalorian it's either no i mean i feel like there's a lot of just unexplained stuff but it doesn't need to be explained so i wouldn't call it a plot hole but like i don't know it's been too long but there's something with like him and either ahsoka or him and the jedi so anyways i don't remember in season two was it when they were on the on a tython to give um grogu to get grogu to the jedi structure and launch out Possibly. these. I, don't, I just remember like you talking Which doesn't about. Make any sense? I feel like that's a plot hole. Like we have no idea. What, right. Like what? This and that is. went nowhere too. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Like it would set Maybe out. That's it, what I was thinking. But of, it sent yeah. out a signal to the Jedi, aka Luke Skywalker, and Luke Skywalker did come. But why did he come? How come he went to the ship and not to Tython? He may have went to Tython and then went <laughs> to the ship. But I'm just so confused of like. Yeah. How did Luke Skywalker get there? That's a plot hole. Like, how did he know where to go? But the scene's so good. <laughs> it is really good. Like, I'm not saying it really yeah. bad or anything. Like, it is yeah, really that, good. I'd call that, yeah, that's a good one. Um, I don't know if I got anything else for Star Wars, at least that I can think of. Um, I, there was, I feel like there was one I wanted to talk about that was actually in Clone Wars. Okay. But I can't remember what it was. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, yeah, without many seasons, it's, yeah, it's hard. I'm sure there is some. But there is something very specific I wanted to talk about it. You know what? It doesn't matter. We're good. All right. <laughs> um, any in Marvel you want to talk about? I mentioned some, but there's plenty more. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you, do you have a sure, couple more? I can have some more I can talk about. So Shang-Chi and Shang-Chi. Um, I knew. I know. There's the one in Shang Chi. I mean, like the, my least favorite plot hole, or my the plot hole I think like was so easy just not to have, and they forced it so hard. Was JD Aquafina's character being there <laughs> at all? Yeah, like she makes no sense to be there. It makes no sense for his father not to just kill her. Yeah, it makes no sense for Shang Chi to let her be there. Like he's trying to protect her. His father's trying to kill her, but she's just there. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then, and then the man, the whole story with the Mandarin retconning it and everything was just so poorly done. Yeah. It, like it felt like it created a bigger plot hole by trying to fix a <laughs> plot hole, you know. And it's like <laughs> that's a good. Uh, point. That so, a it's good so point. dumb. And then uh, the fact that like the Mandarin's just hanging out there. I guess it's not really a plot. It's just stupid. Um, apparently, you have one. <laughs> yes, I just remembered what my pl- the plot hole. It wasn't in Clone Wars. I was thinking of Clone Wars because it was Obi Wan Kenobi episode two yeah. because of the clone there. That's not the plot hole. The plot hole is what the deuce with the Grand Inquisitor dying. <laughs> that makes no sense. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. This is supposed to happen before Rebels. Star Wars Rebels. He's in Star Wars Rebels. Of course, well, he's not going to die then. Yeah, I don't think he's going to die, but it's just so annoying that he got stabbed. There's no sign that he <laughs> got stabbed in the in Rebels. There's, they should have mentioned something if he was going to get stabbed, and it was just like, ah, it's just, what? <laughs> That's what I wanted to say. There's okay. my anger. You, I am so angry about the Inquisitors. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> all right, moving on. <laughs> um, well, Inquisitors themselves are just a giant plot hole, but we don't have to yeah, know You know what? I can. I will actually agree with that. Once now. again, it's a plot hole trying to fill a plot hole. Yeah, but, I will um, agree with that because I've searched and searched. I can't get anything figuring out why Inquisitors are Inquisitors. Yeah, my only guess is they're called Inquisitors because they don't want to be called Sith. To, to so the people of the Empire. Yeah, we should don't not talk about out. Inquisitors more because I really want to talk about theories and stuff I have with them later. So we'll yeah. do that later. Anyways, sorry, sorry, sorry. On, <laughs> plot holes in the MCU. 
Um, all right. Then Extremis, it's just a giant plot hole. Like Yes. Yes. Especially it, Pepper has Extremis in her you, where where is she? Like, yeah. what has she been doing? In Infinity War, she's just walking around, and then she's like becoming rescued. It's like she it makes no sense. Yeah, why um, does she need the suit if she's got the yeah. power? What about the oh, yes, whole I talked about black? What? What about all the? Uh, I mean, we haven't. This plot hole hasn't come to fruition really yet, but the whole like destroying all the purple plants in Wakanda. Purple plants that give him powers, the purple herb. Oh, yes. Heart shaped herb that they're all destroyed, and he apparently still had his powers for Infinity War and everything. I mean, he got it back. I know, but like, it's not, I mean, they didn't act like it was permanent. Oh, yeah. Good point. They didn't. They like, I don't acted see- like he had to like keep pick, <laughs> like, that's what it, I mean, that's what the story seemed like to me. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I actually see that now. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. They're like, <laughs> forget about that. I mean, and also, there seemed to be no turmoil there, even though they had just been in a rebellion. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, you don't. Know, and they didn't, like I, we haven't we haven't seen Wakanda forever yet, so a lot of these seem to be plot holes, but they could very easily be explained. Yeah, um, because we haven't had a deep dive into Wakanda mm-hmm. since mm-hmm. Black Panther. But um, <laughs> those are things that seem to be plot holes right now. No, no, that's not a plot hole. Never I don't mind. know if you can. I don't know if I'd consider this a plot hole, but somewhere that just has gone nowhere and like could be such a good story if they would just meant but they literally haven't mentioned it is the fact that hulk hunted by the government for a whole movie <laughs> they haven't cared about him since yeah plus his girlfriend apparently just disappeared yeah but his girlfriend I, I understand like that movie's barely a part of the mco but still like what <laughs> yeah mention it i mean they and then in an avengers they act like he's still on the run in some way yeah yeah but I think it's all buddy buddy now. Yeah, what's really sad is because Ross Thunderbolt Ross and like Red Hulk and all that storyline is so interesting. I get that they don't want to go into this whole Hulk universe, but like it's such a good story. Yeah, they could they they could get some good stuff out of it. Yep. But um, what about the whole Hulk banner merging type thing? Um, I mean, we haven't gotten far, far enough into that. Yeah. I, I mean, it was well, like they didn't explain how yeah, it happened. He just like, huh, you know, <laughs> like he just like, like they I feel like that's take the brain and the brawn and mm-hmm. put yeah. them together. I, I don't know if that's a plot hole. I mean, I think it is because in Shang Chi we see him again and he's just normal, right? Bruce like right now, but like I'm pretty sure She Hulk's gonna explain that. Maybe, maybe. Um, Any other plot holes before? I mean, Ragnarok. Tried to create a giant plot hole with Thanos' gauntlet. Oh, and like fake. Oh, whatever. yeah. And then all the Infinity Stones were in it, but then they weren't, you know, and then he had to get the Infinity Stones. They, I think they did a pretty good job of fixing that and yeah. everything. Um, but I would say, yeah, that's a plot hole that was prolonged for a long time until it was kind of fixed. Um, I feel like there's another one in Ragnarok. Oh, well, the way Odin works. Oh, <laughs> it's kind of just a giant plot hole. And then, how about how about I I don't want to I don't know they explained it but I um I feel like they didn't explain it I could be missing something Thor's powers and then him going to go get Stormbringer I want to yeah mm-hmm. that, I don't know if that's a plot hole what about his eye uh, <laughs> not really a plot hole <laughs> what do you mean that's just a hole in his <laughs> <laughs> so the the plot hole you could say is the fact that. Uh, no, it's not really a plot hole. It's more of just a two stories that tell, like, so, like, <laughs> basically, it's just kind of poor writing and the fact that they have a whole story about him finding his true power. Yeah. And then he needs to, but, like, I think the difference is, like, he was finding, like I said, his true power in one story, and then he was finding a weapon that was powerful enough to defeat Thanos. Oh, like, okay, I don't okay, think, okay. like, too yeah, many people see. try to put them together. I can totally see why people don't like it. Yes, they're telling seemingly contradictory stories. Mm-hmm. But, well, like I said, I one's about the weapon something. of Stormbreaker. Yeah. And him feeling like he's failed. Mm-hmm. The other one is him trying to figure out how to, or, or learning, he's not trying to figure it out, but ends up learning what his true power is. Yeah. Um, it's kind of like, a lot of people draw very similar with his power in um, the second Thor versus third Thor. And it's like, because no, like in the first one, he's not learning about his power. He's learning about being king and what that means. And yeah. the third one is when he's learning his true power. Yep. 
I love Thor's character arc, and I will argue to the day I die yeah, about how amazing like it actually like is. <laughs> Even if they do ruin in this next movie, I'll still love it. Uh, all right, right. goodness. Uh, I think we're about to get some plot holes in the next movie and shows, but that's okay. We'll talk about that later. I think that does it. Yeah, that does. Are we ready to move on to Obi Wan Kenobi? Yep, let's move on because we are running out of yeah, time. Yeah, running out of time. You've already done some stuff on Obi Wan. Yep, and, and so I do want to apologize quick. for all viewers who watched the Obi Wan. I know I said the do the the, the uh, other Jedi hung himself. I was corrected. He was air quotes hung. We well, don't know. It's like, implied. Yeah, I think that's he plot hole itself. Himself. There we go. I mean, maybe, maybe the uh, people did it. No, maybe he had, did have hung himself, and I don't think he's actually hung. That's the thing. Like he didn't. He's not hanging by the neck. Like clearly, no. That, no like he's. But, but he is. It could be a up. very interesting. I think yeah. He's just yeah strung up a bit like an example to everybody. Yeah. That would be a very interesting plot hole if Obi Wan's like, you know, don't be a Jedi. Then he goes and kills himself, and then Obi Wan has to deal with that too. Yeah, would have been a pretty interesting story. But that's not the way they went. He just seemingly got killed by the Inquisitors. Yeah. But, yeah. Good correction there. Yeah, I would have liked it if he killed himself, like you said. He could have been. I'm stark. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> it would have been. It would have just made a more a better story. Yeah, I agree. Much more interesting. Could have given a lot like, more character to Obi Wan. Yeah. Um, right, other so than that, this is all I really want to say. I could just like my, I think yours was like initial thoughts, right? So I'm just mm-hmm. gonna get my initial thoughts since you've already heard his, and you know I don't like to let him talk anyways. But anyway, wow. Um, <laughs> It sucked. I hated all. Of, I disliked everything about it. Um, Ouch. <laughs> we can go into detail if you'd like. like um, I will say, let, I want to talk a few cameos that happened that I won't. Not really cameos, but okay. Um, a couple couple people who showed up in the show that I am happy, to, that I'm kind of glad to see. Um, we saw a clone trooper, which was kind of interesting yep. to see. I actually quite enjoyed that. Okay. Um, we saw, and that's about it, actually. <laughs> Any others were terrible. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, I think, like, story, I guess, like, strictly his story-wise, I think was by far the best part, but it didn't really go anywhere. Um, but it seems like it's gearing up to tell a pretty interesting story about Obi-Wan. Mm, seriously. So I hope they, I hope it pays off. I mean, a lot of things that I've like read and talked to people about like they've really liked Obi-Wan's story I just feel like they didn't pay him res- the respect he deserves I feel like they didn't go into his story the right way Yeah, but I am very excited to see his story itself um, and then the rest of the story and characters and everything was just terrible in my opinion mm-hmm. um, really fast question for me before we move yeah. on what did you think of the final scene when he was told Darth Vader or Anakin Skywalker lives of how he looked of how terrified he looked. I thought he did a, uh, I, yeah, I like, did an amazing this job. This is nothing on the acting of Ian McGregor. <laughs> yeah. Um, because I think he did a fine job. Um, and like, like I said, his character seems to be very interesting. Um, and yeah, like that part of it, the struggle that's going on in him, the mm. feeling of failure, all of that's super interesting. And yeah, I think that I, I really like the way, yeah, when he finds out he yeah. was alive. Yeah. All right. Um, shall we move on? Cause yeah, we, just, uh, tune into after after party. If you want to hear our speculations, I have a lot of theories. I want to run yep. by our resident yep. expert here. We so. We'll, we'll probably talk a little bit more about it cause we are running out of time here, but yeah, uh, let's go into uh, star Wars upcoming Marvel upcoming um, and right. back and forth. Star Wars upcoming. All right. So of course, you know, I think I said this last, last, uh, did, did, did I talk at all about the upcoming Star Wars stuff at all? You mentioned the new trailers and stuff you saw, but that's about it. Yeah. So we saw, we saw, I saw Andor, right. of course, as we all know, saw Mandalorian season, yep. season three trailer. There was also a Star Wars Bad Batch season two trailer. Okay. Um, look, it actually looked interesting. We are getting a lot more clones. I have some theories that I do want to point out in the, in the upcoming back, uh, after, after. Um, so I'm actually very interested in season two. Now they might fix a lot of the characters. I okay. hope they do because, uh, but it, it won't fix the fact that the characters are still pretty useless. <laughs> Um, then we have a new show that I actually did not hear about until I watched the trailer for it 
called Tales of the Jedi. Okay. It seems like it's going to be a lot of short stories of certain characters. Like, I think we're going to get a story of Count Dooku before he became a Sith. No. So, in his Jedi years, I think we're going to get some small stories of Ahsoka, probably before she was a Jedi and while she was a Jedi, of her training and stuff. Um, I do hear that I did hear that Liam Neeson is coming back to play in Tales of the Jedi. Okay, it is animated, which is kind of interesting. I think it's yeah, it is animated. Um, but yeah, I have just because I just started hearing about this, like I have no speculations for the show yet until I've learned more. Um, other than that, there was an Ahsoka trailer that was dropped but I have not been able to find it. It was only dropped at the celebration. So, so it hasn't been released yet. So I can't say anything about that. All I know is it's Ahsoka. <laughs> I can, I'll go into my speculations about the show in the after after for Marvel. All right. So for the shows and everything, um, I mean, this will kind of lead into what we'll be doing next week. So um, June 8th is the release date of Miss Marvel, which is, Week in a day from <laughs> a, a, a week from when this comes out. So next week we will be doing our yeah. expectations for that. And uh yeah, so that comes out pretty soon here. And then of course Lore Thor Lore Thor, <laughs> Thor Love and Thunder. We should just call it Lore. Um <laughs> is coming out July eighth, so a month after that. Um there was a new Miss Marvel trailer dropped. It's just looking worse and worse to me. I got so down on it when I heard everyone's reaction, and I was big on it already, and I'm just not looking forward to it. But okay, we'll hope it surprises me. The big news, though, is Disney Plus came out and said Disney Plus Day is coming again. It's probably going to be a live event on September 8th. All right. So we will probably be getting a lot of news coming out that day it'll probably be a lot of show news like disney plus you know it's their show side of it for the most yeah. part probably won't get a whole lot of movie news mm -hmm. um but maybe some casting maybe. choice and stuff maybe yeah. a new trailer here and there but i'm sure it's pretty sure we're gonna get a really big look into since it'll be september 8th right before um werewolf by night comes out probably get a lot of look into that I wonder we'll probably get our first looks at like Secret War or yeah. Secret Invasion. Um what if two season two, all that's probably gonna be coming mm -hmm. out. We might even get a look at what you know, season two of Moon Knight or something, season two Ooh. of what where what we, we're doing with WandaVision, all that. Yeah, speaking of that, it sounds like what it sounds like. House we, of Harkness. Yeah. Har Harkness? Agatha, yeah, Agatha yeah, yeah, House yeah, of okay, Harkness. Okay. I, was, I thought you said for a second, I heard darkness, oh. so it kind of confused me. Um, yeah, so, yeah, so with you saying that, it kind of made me think, okay, we might see some, you know, Tales of the Jedi. Yep, yep. So I'm sure there's going to be a lot of Star Wars stuff at least then, Yeah. Too. So, it's going to be interesting. going to be interesting. Yep, so stay tuned for uh, on the After After Party. If you want to hear speculation, we're going to have a lot of that. And also, first, uh, first Sunday of the month is our movie review. So, this Sunday, we'll be dropping... Um, Ford versus Ferrari. That's right. I was wondering if you <laughs> Almost remember. Forgot. Yeah, I was gonna. Uh, so we will see you all later this week. Don't put yourselves inside a box.